Today lecture, I am going to discuss what how to import data from CSV file into QLX Sense. So here we have data inside file directory, and now you can see this all our CSV. So opening EMP, then you can see this format of data is there, and this is the CSV file. So this I am going to import inside QLX Sense. So opening the app first. So this is opening the app. The new thing is here. Let's so uh, click there and data manager. Then or uh, there you can see the or uh, it's all loading table. So these tables are present there. Okay, EMP this all. So the next uh, here click on this plus. Then I'm going to import the file. So you can also use here the data source, database you can choose. And now I'm going to use here a file. So file is in my computer on the desktop. So first, we need to copy the location and uh, pasting inside the path. Press enter. Then you can see here EMP employees file 1, file 2, file 3, every. So let's click on file 1. So this records are present there. And now this here this all format so delimited if I select fixed so everything that's come on one single column so that's not in uh, connect so let's use here delimiter and the next is here you can use comma so comma separated so if I go on this file and here file one so every here after some values that are separated by the comma okay so that this place you need to uh, automatically choose a comma and if the semicolon is there then you can select the semicolon so inside this or oh, there is no any semicolon so that's only one single column that's selected but comma is there so whenever that want the comma after that that to the separation Thereafter, or uh, this place you can give any meaningful name. So, writing here CSV file importing. Or uh, then, or uh, this place, if you don't want a uh, first uh, uh, header, then you can click on this plus. So, here, second header form that is starting if you want for or uh, third second header of uh, it found from third header then you can see this all and if you want from 30 then you need to click on this plus so that's not to connect so that uh, here on the zero header first header or uh, these things are there dpt dname so this selected if you don't want dname from the table then you can also do that uncheck this one so dna dname would uh, want be uh, loaded Insert the QLX sense. So after that, you need to click on this next. Then one new or uh, here or uh, file that's come. If I click on this file, then you can see DPT number and lock. Only two column that's selected. DNAME that I uncheck so that DNAME is not there. After that, you can utilize this file for many purpose many uses so this is how we can uh, import csv file inside qlx sense so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you